Hi guys, we're at the AFE Training Center. We have Nikki in our chair. Nikki happens to be my roommate, so we do know each other very, very well. She's here for just her standard, um, pretty much every three month Botox. She does not have a ton of movement. I'll have her make some expressions for you. So there it is. She does have this static crease that you can kind of see. Um, it used to be much, much, much more severe, but after kind of pretty regular Botox treatments, um, it has softened quite a bit. So go ahead and make that angry face one more time. So right there, it used to be static and kind of there at all times, much deeper. So we've come a long way. And then her frontalis, not a ton of movement. Go ahead and raise your eyebrows. Obviously it's a little bit higher. Um, whether she has a little bit of um, neurotoxin kind of still in effect down here, I'm not quite sure. So I did keep my dots pretty high. I'm only gonna dose her um, with just four units. So it shouldn't um, drop her eyebrows or do anything like that. So we will go ahead and get started. All right, you ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. A little poke. I'm, of course, using our 31-gauge multi-bevel comfort tux syringes. Pretty comfortable for the patient, usually. And of course, treating laterally enough so that we don't spot her eyebrows. I do like to still bring my patients in for a two-week follow-up just to make sure they like their results and we don't need to make any enhancements. Um, sometimes Nikki does bruise a little bit. That's normal. I always go over follow-up um, post-care instructions with my patients. So Nikki already knows all this, but I will tell her, of course, once again. She's not going to lay down, touch her face, or raise her body temperature for four hours. Um... We're going to move on to the glabella area. So I'm going to give four units in her Proceris. A little poke. And then I'm going to give four in her medial aspect of her corrugator. And then in her lateral aspect, I'm just going to give two. She may end up needing more, but we're just kind of playing with some doses to see what we like. And then moving on over, of course, sealing off that orbital rim. Four here. And two here. And I always like to hold my finger there for just a second. Bleeding a little bit, that's of course normal. If patients took any um, ibuprofen or anything like that or drank any alcohol, which I'm sure Nikki has not, um, then you'll see a little bit more bleeding. But this is all normal. She'll have these kind of welt looking um, bumps for no longer than a half hour and then she'll be good to go. I ask that they don't put makeup on right away. If by chance they have to put it on later tonight, just make sure it's clean, nothing old or dirty, and then normal skincare um, is fine. So how was it? Great. Thanks, Sid. Good. So we'll see her back in two weeks and we'll follow up.